step for the North Inner City and on behalf of the people in the North Inner City, I want to thank all the survivors that spoke today and their families. I want to thank Ellie for coming along and sharing her story too. My whole life I've walked along this building here and without ever really knowing what happened in it, it made me horrendously uncomfortable. You know, I, I never understood the depravity. I never understood what went on inside, but it frightened me. It frightened me from the time I was a kid. And then you get a little bit older and you start to hear the stories. You start to hear what people, people were brought in there, and they were brought in there because someone else assumed them to be different or assumed them to be lesser. And it still, and it makes me, it makes me crawl with a level of uncomfortableness. And then I get a bit older and I go into my thirties and I become an elected representative and I still walk along this hill. And then something else makes me feel very uncomfortable about it. The for sale sign. Who, what are we selling when we sell this building? Like what, what are we offering? What are we offering for sale here to private development? In addition to privatising their services, we're now privatising their memorials. Our memorial hasn't even put it up and we're relinquishing responsibility for it. And that is a sad reflection of who we are. You know, to the, to the women of the Magdalene Laundry, the women that were incarcerated in here through no fault of their own, we owe you so much. I mean, we owe you an apology that's not yet complete, it's not even close. We owe you a redress. We owe you so, so much. But then we owe you and we owe ourselves something else as well. We have a responsibility and an onus to remember, to never repeat. And when we sell this building and when we see, whether it be a hotel, a block of private apartments there, and in the corner, a little plaque to the memory of the suffering, the depravity, the forced incarceration, the work that people done there. Can we just can we just hand that over to our new gods of private development? So I can't I can't even begin to comprehend the suffering that happened in that building behind me. Nobody can. I don't think as a society we've yet to come to terms with it. But we have a responsibility to never forget. You know, for us who weren't aware that what happened in there, we're aware now. We're very much aware now and we're awakening to it. So there's a responsibility on us to deliver whatever promises that were made to you. We, that, that is their own. That's the responsibility that's on us now. And it's the responsibility to never repeat the mistakes of the past that were captured so perfectly by Ellie there. So I've got to thank you all for coming along and I'm ready to continue this fight that you have. This is, I'm ready just to be supportive of you in any way that need be. Thanks, guys. Hey.